You are probably concerned about the recent update of the Meyer DEX and the changes that were made regarding the rewards distribution. Let's break it down. What is up guys, it's Alex here. Welcome to the channel. Before we jump to the actual topic, if you're not yet familiar with the Meyer Exchange and the ongoing things, I recommend you to check my previous videos where I cover all the essential aspects about everything that's going on in the Elrond ecosystem. With that in mind, let's begin with the first question we should ask ourselves before judging or panic. Why did this happen? Why there was a sudden change of rewards distribution that messed up our farms and the strategy we were using? Well, Elrond Network is building with very ambitious goals in mind that are achievable but are future-oriented. Because great things take time to build and the results won't come overnight. Now, if we adopt a long-term vision, we can understand that changes like this are actually here to help the system grow. It is perfectly fine and healthy to make adjustments to your strategy along the way. This system they're building is actually helping the community and the whole ecosystem evolve and prosper. I know there is a strong foundation into every decision taken and the outcome will positively impact us sooner or later. The LP token has the purpose to provide liquidity to those that intend to obtain Eagle, Max or any other token listed in the future. We are rewarded for each swap transaction with even greater rewards starting with yesterday's update. The future will be bright when more and more tokens will become part of the Meyer DEX and the supply and demand will balance. More transactions, more rewards. Lockmax will be incredibly valuable because it's the main tool to farm all the other tokens. So what should you do? I consider being more valuable to lock your assets since the highest potential of the entire system will anyway be focused on the long term, so 1 plus years. The simple max reward will be too little now to make the most out of Denver's strategy. The updated rewards distribution is now focusing 95% on lock max and 5% on max. This changes a lot for our farming strategy. So to be able to adapt, they put the withdrawal fees to 0% until December 4th. Now, how exactly we take action? You don't have to remove your LP token. Just withdraw the LP from farms so it will go to the liquidity tab. And from there, stake it again in the way that works best for you. Keeping in mind that if you lock it for one year, even if you won't have access to your generated rewards daily, you are making the most out of your investment. Or you can choose to still use the Denver strategy or at least some of your LP stake without being locked to rely on some daily cash flow. But it's going to be lesser than before. I know that we'll be thankful in one year that we looked at it long term. They also already stated some benefits of holding LockMax and its great utility. But before you go with 100% of your assets into the pools, keep in mind that the new token, RIDE, will join the exchange on 7th December. I would keep some Eagle and LockMax for this RIDE listing. Now, there is still a question you might ask. Why is there a higher reward for the single max pool? Should you only stake there now? The answer would be depends. What we first have to consider here is the multiplicator in the little green box. This tells us the profitability of that pool. There is half of the total value allocated in the max pool versus the eagle max pool, even if the APR appears higher for now. But if you are already doing that, stake in the max farm, then keep doing that. It's even better now and it's the simplest way. But if you have the eagle max LP token, then here we'll have the best returns. And the rewards being lock max, you can further give it utility by staking it in the max pool. So in conclusion, the current changes require us to withdraw our LP token from the farms and then restake it again with the possibility of getting the highest returns by locking it for one year. The compound interest using Denver strategy is not as useful anymore, but in one year you will have already generated so much more profits with LockMax compared to if you would still use the Denver strategy. That's why we have to adapt and understand the project's vision. By locking your LP token for one year, it doesn't mean you cannot unlock it whenever you want. 
only the generated rewards will be locked, but you can take back your investment at any given time. However, by having 100% of your value generating lock max, it's still a daily income that's significantly better and that you will be able to use in one year. I believe that the goal here is to accumulate as much lock max during these 12 months and reinvest the lock max generated rewards again in the single max pool. And also, since now we know that lock max will have a greater and greater impact in the Meyer DEX, use it as well to invest in future projects listed on the Elrond network like Holorite or the upcoming IRO VEC. So now all my LP token is locked and all my farms are producing lock max, which I'm perfectly fine with. I rather know that the Elrond team is doing the things right, even if it takes time. Let's keep in mind that a lot of the things going on in the Elrond ecosystem are actually happening for the first time, ever. So we are basically here, witnessing revolutionary changes to the world we live in. And that will be essential for the future we are building. All of us will be thankful in a few years from now, since Elrond's true potential is far greater than anything we have witnessed so far.